So the first step in that process is that the scientists have to become farmers. We have to walk a mile in their shoes. Because right now, the scientific questions that we're asking that are supporting a broken agricultural system are too often they're completely disconnected from the kinds of questions that need to be answered from a practical perspective of farming. So your farm is in South Dakota. Can you describe it a bit? What are you farming? Well, what we took, did with Blue Dasher is we took the rule book, we looked at it, and then we threw it out the window. The traditional rule book? or the Right, right. At this point, it's small, but it's got a lot of enterprises stacked on top of each other. And that's what I think our regenerative farm is supposed to do, is have those enterprises integrated vertically. So what do we do? We raise sheep, we raise honey, we raise prairie, we raise wetlands, we raise chickens for meat and egg production. We're looking at other forms of meat production here that we can integrate in. We have an orchard for perennial fruit production, fruit and nut, and then we also have both annual and perennial field crops that are kind of all integrated in with a native unbroken prairie, which if your listeners have never experienced the prairie that used to range across North America, it's a real gem. And there isn't many little pockets like Blue Dasher Farm left anymore, less than 1%. Wow. And then how does it connect to the academic? Because you could have just started a just between brackets, obviously. You could have just started a farm and say, okay, I've seen the experience of many of the farmers. It seems to make a lot of sense. I put my academic hat on the wall and that's it. And I will just become a farmer and step yeah. away from the academic world. But you did it. Right. And there's a lot of days, sometimes I wish I could pick one hat to wear, but I don't. So the research facility is right here on Blue Dasher Farm, and we have a scientific staff that's located here. This is the first in what it's becoming a national network of these centers for regenerative agriculture research. Wow. So we're, we're looking at expanding into Colorado and California in the next year, maybe Iowa, and just starting to extend our reach. 